So we come to the great mosque at Keoran. The hypostyle mosque is thought to be similar to the original form of Muhammad's house. And this is seen as the best example. The great mosque, and here we see the hypostyle hall, uh, is based on these very simple frontier homes that you would see in the Muslim world, something similar to what you might see in Muhammad's time. Now, this is obviously much larger than a house would be at the time, but it follows the same basic form with the use of the hypostyle hall or a hall held up by a series of columns. And it still houses the original carved wooden minbar or pulpit, which we see here on the side. And this is dating back to 836. So, I mean, this is a particularly old piece and very well preserved for a wooden form. We see entrances on the east and west, which will lead through the hall to an arcaded forecourt. So, when we look at the mosque, uh, the entrance is actually going to be over here and we enter into, or sorry, it enters into the courtyard and then you enter into the hypostyle hall, which we just saw here. And here's the mihrab, as well as the minbar, which would be just beneath this dome. And this use of a large courtyard is not only based on houses at the time, but also Roman frontier forums, which we see down here which were, of course, marketplaces, a very different use, but they're using the same basic architectural form, an enclosed courtyard with an enclosed temple on one side. And here we see the floor plan, the basic layout. And all of this is, of course, area for prayer. The use of the courtyard, of course, is going to be fairly flexible. When you're in a desert environment, it makes a lot of sense to make use of outdoor space that you don't have to put a roof over. You don't have to worry about uh, heating or cooling or anything else. You can just leave it open to the environment, something we definitely could not do, for example, in Wisconsin. We also see two domes, one over the entrance and one over the mihrab, the two central points of the structure, as well as a minaret on the far side. Now, these two domes, of course, delineate the two most important elements of the mosque, the entrance and the center of prayer. And we see exactly the same thing in most Western churches, where you'll see bell towers on one end and oftentimes a steeple on the other over the altar. So very similar form.